Here are my three games that are under the radar for week number nine. Starting in the early window, Chris, I'm going to do it again. I'm going back to Atlanta. Oh. Denver and the Falcons. Denver at the Falcons. Nobody Broncos is talking about Falcons. this game. Nobody's talking about this game. Nobody's talking about the Denver Broncos, Chris. They're not. I did earlier in the season. I called them my sleeper team in the American Football Conference and then immediately stopped thinking about that because <laughs> Von Miller was out for the season in that freak injury right. and Chubb. And then we go on and on and on and on and on. And Drew Locke went out. And Despite all of this, the Denver Broncos go into Atlanta and beat the two win Atlanta Falcons. They're 500, Christopher. They're four and four, which puts them right on the verge of sniffing it. Sniffing it. They would be four and four. If they win this football wow, game. Wow, I would not have guessed How that. How about that? Now, I'm not saying the division's there for them. I'm saying that there is a possibility that they're going to seven seed in them, which is the way I thought about them coming into the season. So, I'm bringing this up because my sleeper team may still be alive in the AFC. The NFC was Arizona. I saw that coming a mile yeah. away. But um, the Cardinals, I mean, uh, the, the Broncos could be 4-4. Four and, four. and then there's the case the Falcons who I used as a uh, fourth down hot take a couple weeks ago that they're going to be in the running for the seventh seed. And had Todd Gurley not scored against Detroit, this team would be four and five coming in this game. I mean, uh, pardon me, they would be, they'd be four and four coming in this game. Not two and six, or three and five, my bad. They'd be three and five coming into this game instead of two and six. And I think they still have that ability. So keep an eye on that CBS early window game. And then at one o'clock, it's Giants- the Washington football team. Yes, kids. Ron Rivera was on the show on Monday, and the Washington football team head coach is uh, on the sideline, coming off the bye, talking about Kyle Allen with this team. If they win this game, if the Washington football team wins this game, they are one half game behind the Philadelphia Eagles who are on right. a bye week. So the NFC East could have some competition going on at the top. And I know it's, you know, Kind of like watching two drunk guys fight outside of a bar. <laughs> but it is still a competition. And this would be a big game. And if the Giants lose it, you already even heard Albert Breer in our number one talk about uh, the Giants would definitely trade away Daniel Jones for Trevor Lawrence. Well, they would start to become in the ether of winning, you know, uh, losing just enough to be able to catch the Jets. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are starting Jake Luton this week. The Giants are a team to watch with Daniel Jones. If he's not the guy, is he the guy? I think he is, and I think they are not wavering in their support for him. Well, let's see what 1-8, and 1-9, and nine, and 1-10 and would look like. That's what I'm looking at right there. And then nobody's talking about... This is the, a sneaky big game. This is a game between the second-place teams... In the AFC North yeah. and the AFC South, once upon a time, you know, and again, it's 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 kind of crazy here that I need to kind of remind people about it. But when the Ravens came back into being, it was always Ravens Browns, of course, because the Ravens came into being because they left Cleveland in order to create it. The Colts used to be in Baltimore, and this is something that we always talked about. There are some people in Baltimore who would like the Ravens to go into Indianapolis and beat the crap out of the Ursae family because they still remember the Mayflower trucks that came in in the middle of the night and took their team away, needing for them to take the team from Cleveland. But I, I, I digress. This is a game that if there is a surge of another team like, say, Denver, I'm not, and this is totally crazy, or the Dolphins in the AFCs, there's another team that jumps into the mix with the Browns in the mix. This is a small, slight, infinitesimal chance of a possibility of being a wild card tiebreaker game. Who's in and who's out? I doubt it, but it is definitely in the realm of possibility of who's a five seed and who's a six seed, which could be a big difference as to who you face in the first round of the playoffs. It's Philly Riv, old man Philly Riv against Lamar Jackson. Could not be two more diverse styles at quarterback also and two tough defenses we're keeping our eye on so many other places, but why are we not talking more about Baltimore against Indianapolis? We now have. Those are my three games that are under the radar for week nine in the NFL here on this Friday edition of the Rich Eisen Show.